Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can insert a Word document into a PowerPoint presentation, how you can use Paste Special and Paste Link to automatically update a Word document in the PowerPoint presentation, and also how you can create a hyperlink from PowerPoint to a Word document. So first of all, the object on this slide, you need to click on Insert, object and then you need to browse for the object itself so it's a word document so just browse for it it's in my documents and it is basically this one basic diagrams now you've got the options here of linking which i'm going to do which means any changes in the source document will be displayed in powerpoint you've got that option there as well it displays an icon i'm not going to do that one so i'm happy here click ok to that and then you should get the object coming in now this is a linked object, so if I change anything in the source data like, I've just, data like I've just said, it will update. So if I go and find that, just go File, Basic Diagram. So if I change this, just make this into bold, for example. So that's changed. Now if I come back into PowerPoint, it hasn't changed. But if I save this, save this PowerPoint, I've just saved it as PowerPoint Presentation 4. Once you've saved it, you will then see the links to this. Now if I close this file and open it again, that will update or will ask me, do you want to update links? But if I go to File, Info, you can edit the links from there. If I just click on that, and I'll just get it to update like that, and then close. If I go back and have a look, that's now gone bold, so that's okay. Now the downside of doing this is sometimes information in a Word document is too small to see in full screen. Let's have a look at this one. This one isn't too bad, there's not a lot of information there so you can actually see that quite clearly. So that's okay, that would work. But don't fall into the trap of putting lots of documents, document information onto a slide and expect people to be able to read it. I've seen people do that when they're complicated forms that you want people to fill in. There's no point having it on there other than just an image to show them because they, they can't actually read the detail. The second option I want to show you is how to use the Paste Special and Paste link. So this time I'm still going to use the same document, but I'll go and just get this bit of text and I'm going to copy that, Control C, copy, come back into PowerPoint and then go into Home and paste special, paste link is what I want. So paste link, and you've got options there, look hyperlink or the actual text itself. Click OK, so the text is coming in like so, as a text box. If I just change the layout on this slide so it's just a blank slide. That now is a linked bit of text. If I go back into this and knock the bold off, Bolt off, come back into PowerPoint, bolt off straight away. If I go back and do that, this is only happening because they're both open at the moment. Bold on, bold on. It will update if um, you save and close the file as well, and you'll have a link for that. So that's the page special option. I quite like that. I do that into, you can do page special into Excel, Word, PowerPoint. All of the Microsoft packages allow you to do paste special and paste link. Now the last one is just creating a hyperlink to where, you, where you've got the document. So in this case you just need to have a trigger word, so the word hyperlink, I'll do it from there. And then insert link and then you navigate to the file. What is, what's it looking at? So it's in documents and then you find the file in documents, basic diagrams. OK. Now the hyperlink doesn't work in this view. You have to be in full screen view and then it will work. So if I put this into full screen, you then get your little hand and then you can click on it and it will open that source document. Like so. And then you can come back. Let's press escape on that to come back down. So you've got three different options using Word objects. Same would apply for Excel. 
If there's not too much data, you can insert the entire object as long as you can see it in full screen. Paste Special will give you a bit more flexibility. You can also link in Paste Special charts and graphs from Excel or Word. It doesn't matter which one you come from. Uh, come from, and you get this sort of option here. And then the last one is to hyperlink. So this is what I would do if this Word document, for example, was too complicated. There's too much information. Using the hyperlink, you go in straight to the source document so if there's more than one page for example um, you're not faffing about with this you, you you've got the whole word document on the screen and you can see and you can navigate through word you've got word functionality ribbon scroll through the pages at will so just three different options it's totally up to you um, test them try it try each one out and see which which one best suits what you try to do but hopefully that's of use for you thank you for your time and i'll see you in the next one